Smart speakers are the in thing these days. We have a lot of smart speakers from major manufacturers with Alexa built in and an almost crazy amount of speakers with the Google Assistant. But what if you want to build your very own custom designed smart speaker which has both Alexa and Google Assistant built in? Wouldn't that be great? Yes it would and that's what we're talking about today. Hey Google, tell me a joke. This might make you laugh. I wonder if the earth makes fun of the moon for having no life. Alexa, tell me a joke. What did the cat on the smartphone say? Can you hear me out? Hey guys, this is Akshay from bbomb.com and today I'll tell you how we made our very own smart speaker with both Google Assistant and Alexa built in. Before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon? It's down there, it's easy to do and it will notify you of our future videos, which is awesome. So go do that. Now that you've done that, let's get started. I've used the first generation Amazon Echo and the Google Home extensively over the last year. And while I really like them both, I always wondered if I could get the best of both worlds in one fine package. So yeah, being the kind of creative nerds that we are over here, we decided to build our own smart speaker. It wasn't even too difficult. First, let me tell you about the things we used. Don't worry, I'll drop links to each of them in the description down below. A Raspberry Pi 3, a 32 GB micro SD card, a USB wall charger, a 3 port USB hub, we used one from Amkit, a USB A to micro USB cable, a USB mic, a portable speaker with aux input, we are using the Portronics Dome speaker and a keyboard and a mouse along with an HDMI cable for the setup. Once we had all of that, it was time to get to work. Again, I'll leave links to the guides, the developer pages and everything else you may need in the description down below. So make sure you read that. Now let's set up our speaker. First, we had to set up the Raspberry Pi. This was easy. All it took was downloading the Noobs package. We just extracted the files and loaded it onto the Raspberry Pi's micro SD card. Next up, we hooked it up to the USB keyboard, mic, mouse and the HDMI TV. The setup self-installed on booting up the Pi. Then we headed over to Amazon's developer page and created an account. Everything is pretty straightforward here as well. We just had to note down the security profile ID, the client ID and the client secret. Next, we set up a Google developer account. We created a new project and enabled the Google Assistant SDK. Also, we downloaded the clientcredentials.json file. We renamed the JSON file to assistant.json and copied it to the home slash pi directory. We then proceeded to reboot the Raspberry Pi and cloned the source project files with this command. Then we needed to make the downloaded project files executable, which can be done with these commands. Once that was done, we simply executed the prep system script, which then gave us options for audio setup that we wanted to use. We are using the third option, so if you are following our method, that's the option you should go for as well. Then we restarted the Raspberry Pi and proceeded to check whether the audio was working with this command. After that, it was just a matter of installing both the assistants on our speaker. We used this command to do so. There are things to do while the script runs, but everything is pretty straightforward. All we had to do was follow the instructions on the screen. Then we authenticated Alexa and assistant by following the steps shown in the terminal to us. It's important to note that the authentication commands for Alexa need to be run in separate terminals. After that, we just made the changes mentioned in the readme file and that was it. We 
we rebooted our Pi and we had a smart speaker with both Alexa and Google Assistant working. With the speaker all set up, we just decided to give it some finishing touches because presentation matters, doesn't it? So we made a cardboard casing for it and made the required cutouts for the ports. Next up, we placed the USB hub inside, connected the Raspberry Pi and the speaker along with the wires all together and placed the speaker on top of it all. And then for a more personalized look, we put on a chart paper, pasted the B-Bomb logo on it and this is what we've ended up with. Looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? And it works. Plus, since the speaker we use has volume controls, we can even increase or decrease our speaker's volume with ease. No issues at all. Also, do note that you can use the speaker to connect to the Alexa app and control your smart home. However, the same cannot be done if you want to use the Google Home app because we are simply using the Google Assistant API. Anyway, let's try out our speaker, shall we? Hey Google, what's the weather like? Currently in New Delhi, it's 14 degrees Celsius with smoke. Tonight, it's forecast to be 22 and clear with some cloudy spells. Alexa, what's the weather like? Right now in New Delhi, it's 16 degrees with dreary skies. Tonight's forecast has clouds and showers with a low of 9 degrees. Hey Google, what do you think of Alexa? I like Alexa's cool blue light. Plus, we share an affinity for Star Wars. Alexa, what do you think of the Google Assistant? I don't have an opinion on that. Well, I could play with this thing all day long, but I leave you guys to make your own smart speakers. We have a detailed guide on this on the BeBomb website, and I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Keep in mind that sometimes Google or Amazon makes changes to their APIs, which may result in the script to stop working. However, fortunately, the developer is very active, so you can always ask him if anything goes wrong. Well, that was our BeBomb made smart speaker with both Alexa and Google Assistant built in. We still don't have a name for it because I kept suggesting Darth Vader and nobody was agreeing to it. So drop your suggestions in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.